Hi, my name is Gianna and I'm a local chef in Richmond, Virginia. Today we're at the Powhatan Village Farmers Market on Bienvenue at the Powhatan Courthouse. I'm so excited to be walking you through a delicious recipe featuring the local farmers at this market. Let's go interview some of the farmers and get our ingredients for this recipe. It's tomato season in Richmond, so I thought that the perfect recipe for today's chef demo would be a tomato-based Italian ragu featuring sausage from Chicory Hill Farm and veggies from Crazy Farm. These gorgeous tomatoes are so juicy and they just create the perfect sauce to bring the entire dish together. I'm here with Brittany, the owner of Hoffick Pasture. Today we're using her bread to top off our sausage ragu. As if you know me, you know that I love bread on top of anything tomato based and so I'm excited to be using this today. Can you tell us a little bit about your business and how you got started? Yes, yeah, so I um, own Poffick Pastures, which is a farm slash bakery. And uh, we take in a lot of dogs and everything, which is the Poffick Pastures. And then I started getting into sourdough after we lost a couple special needs ones. And so I was like, I need something to do. So I started doing sourdough and then it just kind of went from there. I've always baked, but I've never dabbled with that because it kind of you know, made me nervous, but that just clicked as soon as I started doing it and then it just took off. <laughs> That's incredible. I feel like there's nothing like sourdough and bread baking to heal a heart. Yes. It's just so rewarding. Um, is there anything that is unique to your bread and process that you want to tell our audience about? I make really big loaves. <laughs> yeah, this is dense. It's quite heavy. And then um, I think that the way that I, pro you know, fold, do my stretch of folds and everything is more unique to the standard way. I kind of did it to the way that worked for me. Um, and I think it speaks for itself in the bread, um, as well as the flavor that I get from my specific starter and like the age of the starter and how I take care of it and everything. That's wonderful. Well, I did a little bit of a taste test, so I got to cheat and try early. And I'm <laughs> telling you, this is great stuff. I cannot wait to top our ragu with it. I'm here shopping at Crazy Farm, and I'm so excited because they have these gorgeous peppers, so many colors. These are called flamingo peppers. And these are called cool peppers, both in the sweet bell pepper family, and they are just going to bring such a vibrant flavor to our sausage ragu today. These string beans are the perfect vegetable to use in this ragu. They have a nice little crunch with them because they're able to hold up that fiber as they're cooking. Um, they don't soften as much in the heat as other vegetables may, and so it adds a variety of texture to this dish. I love using string beans, and these ones are just gorgeous.
And there you have it, this incredibly easy one pot sausage and veggie ragu. It's complete. Thank you so much for coming to this live chef demo with me. I had a blast and I hope that you learned some fun things that you can take home to your kitchen.